the northern lights, aurora borealis, or the southern lights, aurora australis. Well, let's talk about them. How do they work? So really, it starts with the sun. All right, so a sun is a big giant ball of fire that sends energy out. One type of energy, the solar winds. And then these particles travel through space and eventually reach different planets. One planet, of course, being Earth. Earth has a protective shield that is the magnetic field. And it's like an invisible bubble that surrounds our planet that protects us from different energies. One type of energy, the solar wind. Uh, but near the north and the south pole, some of these particles from the solar wind actually sneak in. And they crash into gases in our atmosphere, like oxygen and nitrogen. That's what makes up most of the atmosphere. Way up high in the sky, at like maybe 60 miles or even all the way to 250 miles above the surface. And when the particles hit the gases, they excite the atoms and it makes them glow. Uh, oxygen usually makes green or red, while nitrogen uh, can create a blue or purple. Basically, the electrons in the atoms are like jumping valence shells, and that's where you're seeing uh, the light. It's kind of similar how a neon sign works. The electricity excites the, the gases in the tube, and then you get colorful light. So billions of these tiny glows happen all at once, and it creates kind of like this, almost like a curtain of light, or like an arc where there's swirling pattern of light that dances in the sky. The name Aurora Borealis comes from ancient times. Aurora is the Roman goddess of dawn. And Borealis means northern wind in Greek. Um, and a scientist, Galileo, by the way, he kind of came up with this about 400 years ago. When it comes to the southern lights, Australis basically just means southern. So the same thing happens in the southern hemisphere. Uh, the best places to see the northern lights are in countries near the North Pole, like Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, Canada, Alaska. There the lights can be seen because of the clear night sky, uh, usually from like September to April. Uh, when it's dark enough. So you, actually the darker sky, the kind of winter time, is what really allows to see the northern lights so well. Some fun facts about the northern lights. Uh, the lights can sometimes they actually make faint noises or sounds like crackling or whistling, though not everyone hears it. Uh, they happen on other planets too, like Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, and strong solar winds can make the lights brighter and visibly go farther south, uh, even in places like the northern United States. So. Hope you thought that was interesting. Thanks, everybody.